Hey YouTube, how you all doing? Just a uh, quick video. My game plan for the installation of my uh, solar system for my travel trailer. Here's the installation instructions that came with the uh, solar panels, HQST. Again, I got two so far, but um, I wanted a 400 watt system and uh, I'll be getting two more solar panels. But here it is. 12 gauge wires right here. Run it, connect it to your charge controller. But before you could do that, I need to run it from the roof into this combiner box. The combiner box is rated uh, IP68. I had an IP65 uh, and uh, it did not offer enough uh, water protection so I upgraded. And uh, once you run that, this is going to stay on the roof. I'll be mounting it on the roof with the uh, Eterna Bond. I got a uh, one-sided stick and double-sided stick tape right here. I'll be using a combination of both. Here are the tools. I got the uh, I got a crimper right there, MC4 connectors, male and female, and of course the tools to connect them or a tool that connect them. Got a drill bit. That'll be the one that's going to be drilling a hole onto my roof. Got a crimper right there, right for battery cables. Going back to my um, combiner box, check this out, right? You could do all kinds of configuration here, whether parallel wiring or in series, uh, but this system, my solar panel will be uh, wired parallel, right? You also recommend that when you're running, um, connecting solar panels to your system, that you need to install a fuse, right? Or circuit breaker right here. But um, playing with the idea of this um, relays, right, has built-in fuse in it and uh, debating on that. So again, solar panels, 12 gauge wires, connected right here, drill a hole on the side, cable glands right here, right? From there, connect it right here or run the wire right there first, right? And then from there to here, okay? And then from there, you need to bring it inside the cabin uh, from the roof. That's why I needed that drill bit. Um, I'll assemble this on one video, break this into little pieces. But um, from here, um, I'll be running two wires and uh, that will be connecting to my MPPT controller, 40 amps. And of course, that's the monitor right there. And if I go by that relay system right there, it goes against everything I wanted to do. The saying of KISS, keep it simple, stupid, right? Um, maybe I'll just use this, bypass that relay altogether and use a uh, on and off switch instead. And then from there, you need to connect the MPPT to a battery bank or to your batteries. And you will also need a on and off switch on that as well, right? So I need to buy another one of that. And then from the batteries, right? Let's pretend this is my battery for now to my battery bank right there from MPPT run run cables positive and negative to your battery bank whatever it may be and of course i'm thinking of uh battle born batteries right uh lithium and uh but for now i'm going to be connecting my uh, lead acid uh batteries or uh battery bank and then from there your batteries will be connecting to uh this inverter still saving money for it and this inverter will have a high output and this high output, I'm going to be connecting it to uh, an automatic transfer switch, uh, specifically for travel trailer, and it's rated 30 amps. 
Let me show you a clip. I have a um, transfer switch for my home. Here it is. Here's a uh, automatic transfer switch for my home. And that's the reason why I want to do the same thing for my uh, travel trailer, right? Take advantage of the existing uh, wiring, uh, electrical wiring within the uh, travel trailer. And again, I just want to take advantage of the uh, having an auto transfer switch because I want to take advantage of the existing electrical system in my travel trailer. Um, yeah, I'm very excited. I'm just waiting for uh, to get this automatic transfer switch and also my inverter. But I could actually get started with the project without this too, as I say, for money. So my first video will probably this box, putting it together and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to click subscribe, click that notification bell. I'll chat with you guys later. Later. Bye for now.